What's up, Internet? The Wannabe Eraser back again, this time with another review. Today we're going to be talking about socks. To be more specific, this pair of $12 Chinese Aero socks that I got off of Amazon. Said they cost me just over $12 with free shipping all the way from China, even though it did take about a month to get here. Uh, they're available in four different colors. And they come in one size, which I would describe as equivalent to a large in other socks. So the seller doesn't make any claims on Amazon regarding the aerodynamic performance of these socks. But to read a bit of how they describe the functioning of them, they say that the, the top of the socks are a kind of functional fabric causing no obstruction during sports to speed up your cycling, running, and etc. The top of the sock is made from a material that has a bit of a texture to it whose goal is to improve your aerodynamics, while the bottom section of the sock is constructed like a pretty standard sock, and they are nicely joined together with a very minimal seam that you do not uh, feel or get any irritation from, as well as there is a seam on the back of the sock, which is nicely out of the way of the wind, so it shouldn't have any effect on aerodynamics. The socks also have a silicone gripper at the opening to keep them up on your legs. So while the seller isn't making any aerodynamic claims regarding these socks, they do look very similar in appearance and construction to the socks being made by Rule 28. So to get some idea of what the possible performance games might be from these socks, let's take a look at what Rule 28 says about their socks. According to Rule 28, their socks use a texture material to turn the air going around your leg turbulent which keeps it attached longer and reduces the size of the low pressure area behind your leg, thus reducing drag. According to Rule 28's testing, you can save about 4.8 watts at a speed of 40 kilometers an hour versus a standard 6-inch cotton sock. Since those margins are so small, I'm not going to be able to do my own aerodynamic testing to see if these socks uh, perform similarly to the Rule 28 socks, but even if they don't, they're probably not going to be worse than a standard cotton sock. And at $12 from Amazon, they are cheaper than a lot of the cycling-specific socks that you can go buy from brands like Defeat or Sock Guys. In comparison to a standard sock, they fit well, are lightweight and breathable, they are nice and stretchy so you can pull them up pretty far up your legs so you can cheat the UCI rules and they stay in place nicely thanks to the silicone gripper. So even if they can't save you 4.8 watts at 40 kilometers an hour, there's still a decent pair of socks for 12 bucks. So the big question is, is buying $12 Chinese Aero socks from Amazon worth it? Yes. Even if they don't save you 4.8 watts at 40 kilometers an hour, they're a decent sock, and at $12, it's a good price. If you enjoyed this review and would like to see more like this, why don't you give this video a like, and then hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos from the Wannabe Racer. And until the next one, keep faking it until you make it.